I have two quizzes due today in film appreciation. These two cassette tape recorders are plagued with the same disease. No, it's not realistic disease. They are both realistic. That's not the disease I'm talking about. No, it's not the vintage disease. It's not the cassette recorder disease. It's not the disease of both possessing a tape counter, indicator light, and internal microphone. No, that's not the disease. It's not the disease of battery corrosion, although this one has a little bit of it. It's the disease of the recording system of the cassette. The way in which it records onto the tape. It's the bias which they choose to record with. Direct current bias, much inferior to alternating current bias. These recorders are DC bias. I'm now recording on the realistic CTR-40B. This is terrible DC bias. Today, this is the realistic, which is Radio Shack, model CTR-40B. This recorder has a built-in microphone, a counter, an aux jack, remote jack, can run on AC or a DC adapter or 4C sized batteries, has an LED that flickers on recording and chimes during playback, and even has a hole to align the head. This machine is DC bias. I'm now using a natural microphone with the same recorder. Why did the realistic company, the Radio Shack company, which makes many recorders in the back in the day and even recorders today that are AC bias, have to make this recorder? DC bias. Now, in a catalog that I saw on the internet of old Radio Shack items, I believe this particular recorder was a budget recorder. And that's probably why they chose DC bias. But it's very disappointing because this one's DC bias doesn't even sound good. And now, let's move on to the next one. You can notice the square theme they like to do on both the buttons and the microphone, although the speaker is round holes. Why? When I got these two recorders at an estate sale, I was hoping that what I'd be getting were AC bias recorders. And no, they're DC bias. Ridiculous. Especially for this one. I was looking for this particular model. I was excited to find it and then it and then it showed as it threw DC bias right in my face. Okay, here is the next one. This is the realistic mini set four. It's a very cool looking recorder. Classic nineteen seventies style. This recorder is very well made in the mechanics. It's very solid. Um, and it has an AM FM tuner on it. The FM doesn't work very well, but the AM works a lot better. And it has a sensitive built in microphone on it as well, including a tape counter, an electrical pause, and a loop. It flickers when recording and chimes in playback just like the other. This recorder can even monitor while recordings for the purpose of hearing what you're recording off the radio. Although the volume is not adjustable when monitoring, it is at one preset quiet level. 
I'll now do the external microphone. I now have an external microphone, the Sony F96 microphone, plugged into this realistic mini set 4. I also have an identical General Electric branded recorder, which um, is slightly different on the styling, but is the same recorder, the same mechanics, and same circuitry. Here's a sad thing. I thought that this realistic version was going to be an AC bias version of the GE. I was excited. I thought I'd have this recorder and there would be AC bias. But no, they still have DC bias in this recorder. It's really annoying. Why do they have to do that? I really, really wish they would have it be AC bias. Okay? And now let's see how it records the radio onto the cassette. By the way, both these machines are running off their original belts. They could use new ones. Top 15 in the country. We are the top-ranked one-loss team in the country. If we're able to win out, the likelihood of the rest of college football, the exception of maybe Boise, going undefeated is pretty slim. Um, second of all, if we... This is when Spats Bear would say, Sports ranked when we play them and we beat them pretty soundly and then they turn around and beat Alabama at the end of the season then the whole ranking To be honest, I can watch a lot of Red Zone Channel. I taped a couple games and I stayed up. Redskins, Redskins, Rams would not have been one you would have seen, but they're. Anyway, um, I'm not a fan of like that kind of pop music that most teenagers listen to nowadays, but this thing gets really bad reception. Seriously. I could I could barely find anything on the FM radio. Like, okay, I want to put it to FM. Here we go. mom's ironing table. I wanted a good surface to make a video on and the surface was just right. But anyway, we'll see how it records TNT. stations and not very well and now it's to AM. And so say amen. Amen. I'll invite to AM to sing for you with J.D. Sumner and the stamps recorded at Johnny Cash's studio in Hendersonville. I John. The camera exaggerates the brightness of things. It has a better red glow, but it has most of the red concentrated as a dot in the center of the LED. It's an odd LED, but this camera just 
doesn't do a very good job on showing it accurately. This camera's way too sensitive to light. Um, Deal him away. At USA Radio News. Flames. Well, as we're about. Find in God's Word. Today's message has never been aired on Truth to Transform, and it was preached earlier the very same year that Dr. Kennedy had his heart attack that eventually took him home to the very paradise that he lovingly paints for us in this sermon. What will heaven be like? And now may we hear the Word of God as it's found in the 14th chapter of the Gospel the antenna according is in to St. John. The clip is John chapter not 14. broken. The General Electric version I have of this recorder's clip is broken, but the antenna is still intact. But anyway, I also has sleep. Whatever that does, but yeah. This recorder would have been really, really cool if only they made it easy to ask. I mean, the transport mechanism is built like a tank, but the buttons are really solid. It's metal mechanic kind of thing. It's really well made, but the DC bias they put into it is an insult to the well-made mechanics and the other features that they put on the recorder. Um, like I have a, I have a Craig cassette recorder, model two six two nine, which uses the same mechanics and also has a built-in microphone, light and counter, and a pause where you have to push the button down and hold it to pause it, but it's a mechanical, I mean it's a not mechanical, it's an electrical pause. And it, it has that same well-built mechanics to it, but it is AC-wise. But, yep, this is DC-wise.